John Norris' favorite topic on Inside Tennessee, Recode. The reason you're watching. <laughs> no, it's a very important topic, Recode it is. Knoxville. Uh, let's, so let's talk about it a little bit. You all may differ a little bit in your positions in regards to Recode. Uh, council uh, went ahead and said, let's do it. There may be some thoughts on your part, Eddie, I don't know, maybe to hold it for a little bit, but let's talk about it. It's been enacted now. What do you think? Keep going? Absolutely. Keep going. Make sure that we implement it in a fair, transparent, and open manner. Uh, when I'm mayor, I want to have someone whose job it is to answer any questions from the community about Recode. Uh, and if they have concerns about the impact on their property, we'll take those into account and then revise as needed. We need to implement because it's been voted on in a democratic process, 8-1. Uh, it was revised five times. This city council uh, was elected to examine these issues. There were hundreds of meetings. I've attended many of them. Uh, I think it got better with every ounce of community input and now it's our job to implement it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward with that, not go backwards, because I support, I support it. I think uh, Recode can help us be more sustainable and, and can help us address our issues of affordable housing. Andy. Yeah, th from the very beginning, I, I asked that we really take Recode and look at it in sections, and, and obviously I wasn't, uh, no disrespect to council or MPC or the administration, I know, I realize they worked very hard at it. But I would have preferred we had, we had taken it section by section. And really, the original intent was to increase density in the commercial corridors. And I think that would have been certainly something that lots of people would have understood. And that would have given us uh, the density that we wanted. I think when we started going over into the, uh, the neighborhoods, that's where it really started getting, you know, it's, you're impacting somebody, possibly impacting somebody's single largest asset. And there's a lot of unknown. I understand as well, there's been a lot of workshops and a lot of conversations, but there are people that are just not comfortable with workshops and, and they don't go and they don't voice their concerns. So I wish there had been a way that we could have made it even more clear to the property owners, this is how it's really going to impact your specific piece of property. I wish we had done that. I ask for, uh, if, if I'm the mayor, that it be delayed so that the current administration and the new incoming city council members can get their arms around it. Uh, I mean, we're the ones that are going to have to defend it if it, you know, goes to, into a lawsuit situation or whatever. And I, that's all I would ask is just for it to be delayed just enough time so we can understand it and uh, then move forward. Um, another topic that we um, hear about from time to time, certainly when it comes to city versus state, is that city leaders, municipal leaders, often feel frustration because state legislators want to get into their business, want to tell them what they can't do. It's kind of ironic because state legislators often say that about Congress. It's like, <laughs> leave us alone. So as mayor, one of you will have to be dealing with, whether they're well-intended or not, legislators who want to tell you the city of Knoxville can't do this or that or the other. How do you deal with that, India? Well, I had the similar experience uh, when I was on the school board. Uh, I'm all for local control, and I believe it, and I believed it when I was on school board, and I believe it when I'm mayor. Uh, but I also believe that you get more flies with honey than vinegar. So I had a great uh, reputation and great time uh, working with our delegation from Knox County, and we have a very effective and high, uh, very senior delegation. So I believe that we work together, find common ground, find what works for the people of this community, and they're part of this community too, and then ask them to represent us. And, and I'm looking forward to that opportunity and maintain, I know all of our delegates uh, uh, in Nashville and have good working relationship with them, and they, I, we have a lot of mutual respect, and I, I think we'll, that will continue when I'm mayor. Maybe not the rest of the state, that's the challenge. <laughs> Eddie, what do you think? You know, I've worked closely with the delegates uh, from our area on many different occasions, uh, currently and then in the past as well when I was Chief Operating Officer and so for the city. And I, I think it's, we need to realize that, that the challenges we have locally are just those, they're local challenges. But I do think continuing to build the relationship that we have and sitting down with the de delegates uh, in Nashville and saying, here's where we are, let's talk about this and it's not them talking to us or us talking to them. And I think getting out ahead of it and, and kind of heading these things off and having a very candid civil conversation will be the best way that my administration would handle that. If you liked our lightning round last week, we're going to do it again this week. <laughs> we're back with that right after this.